advanced spacecrafts for space exploration in tourism. For decades, government organizations held a monopoly on space exploration. Now, with the rise of commercial space corporations creating their own spacecraft, this is beginning to change. Government space organizations like NASA, ESA, and Roscosmos now face direct competition from private space companies like SpaceX Blue Origin and Virgin Galactic. It's an exciting time to be alive if you're a fan of space exploration because of the exponential growth of space-related research and development. With that in mind, let's take a look at the most advanced spacecraft currently under construction. But before that, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Number 1 SpaceX Starship At number 1, we have the SpaceX Starship. Talking about spacecraft without discussing the Starship is like talking about basketball without mentioning LeBron James. Starship is SpaceX's flagship project, and it is currently being developed in the company Starbase in Boca Raton. Texas man Elon Musk started the Starship project to transport humanity across the cosmos and to the red planet Mars. But as the project matured, other applicants of the Starship project were identified, such as using Starship from Earth-to-Earth -Earth travel or using Starship spacecraft to transport cargo into space. But the core goal of the Starship project is to create a viable transportation system from Earth to Mars. The spaceship is divided into two stages, the Starship spacecraft and the booster stage, known as the Super Heavy Rocket. The crew and the cargo will be inside the Starship spacecraft, while the Super Heavy will act as a booster stage. Super Heavy is designed to be reusable and will return to Earth and land after separation from the Starship spacecraft. This is comparable to how the SpaceX Falcon works, after which mission, nine reusable rockets land. The Starship spaceship is nearly 50 meters tall and 9 meters in diameter. It is powered by SpaceX's own Raptor engine, which was designed and constructed in-house by SpaceX. It is one of the most powerful rocket engines in the world when we consider thrust-to-weight ratio. SpaceX made an unusual design option by using liquid methane and liquid oxygen as a fuel. Typically, rockets utilize RP-1 short for Rocket Propellant-1, a type of rocket fuel to power its engines. The Starship passed its flight test last year and now SpaceX to send manned lunar expedition in 2023. Japanese entrepreneur Yasuko Mizawa and the crew of the Dear Moon will be the first civilian passenger on a lunar Starship mission when it sails near the moon on a week-long journey. Number 2. Blue Origin's New Shepard Blue Origin's New Shepard is a vertical takeoff and landing suborbital launch vehicle. Blue Origin is a space company founded by Amazon founder Jeff Bezos. Blue Origin has been a direct competitor of Elon Musk's SpaceX New Shepard that came one of the first spacecraft to carry tourists into space last year on July 20th, 2021. Jeff Bezos and the three other tourists went into space on board. The new Shepard is off the 4th of August, 2022. The new Shepard has flown 32 passengers into space, while these flights are not long and lonely and last. The new Shepard stands 8 in meters tall and has only one stage, comparable to SpaceX Starship. The new Shepard is totally reusable. It is driven by the Blue Origins in house built engine known as B3. B3 uses liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen as fuel. 
other rockets use this combination of fuel and oxidizer as well. But it is not as noble as using methane to power your spacecraft. Number 3. NASA's The Space Launch System SLS. It is a super heavy lift launch vehicle built by NASA that is one of the most famous spacecraft in human history. The SLS is one of the most powerful rockets in the world and can transport more payload to deep space than any other spacecraft. The SLS program is intended to replace the Space Shuttle program that NASA previously used for deep space exploration missions. It will be used for NASA's upcoming Artemis program. The Artemis program is NASA's next generation program to send humans to Moon, and the SLS spacecraft is central to it. To power this gigantic spaceship, the SLS consists of two booster rockets and one core stage. In its core stage, NASA used for RS-25 engines. Unlike the SpaceX Starship, the first SLS rocket, known as Black One, is capable of transporting 27 metric tons of payload to the moon. The SLS booster and cord stages are not reusable, and following separation, they will almost likely to be dropped in the ocean. As with Blue Origins, the SLS B3 and RS-25 engines will use liquid hydrogen as fuel and liquid oxygen as an oxidizer. NASA intends to transport humans to the moon in the near future using SLS spacecraft. Number 4. Ross Cosmos Soyuz. The Soyuz spacecraft is a pretty historic and iconic spacecraft. The first generation of Soyuz was developed in 1960s by the Soviet space program. After the fall of the USSR, the Russian space program continued development of the Soyuz since 1992. The Soyuz spacecraft is being developed by the Russian space agency, Roscosmos. The Soyuz spacecraft consists of the Soyuz spacecraft and the Soyuz rocket. The Soyuz spacecraft program is one of the longest-running spacecraft program in history. Not only that, but the Soyuz was critical for maintaining the International Space Station as between 2011 and 2020. The Soyuz was the only way to ferry astronauts to and from the International Space Station. Soyuz is widely regarded as one of the world's safest and most cost-efficient spacecraft, and it is a relatively successful spaceflight history attests to this. Despite the fact that it has been nearly 60 years since the first generation of Soyuz took its maiden flight, the Russian spacecraft is still active in service. Number 5. SpaceX Dragon The Dragon capsule is yet another project awarded to SpaceX by NASA to create their next-generation space capsule. Since the retirement of the Space Shuttle in 2021, NASA has been without a spacecraft capable of transporting passengers from Earth to the International Space Station. For logistics to use ISS, NASA was completely on the Russian Soyuz spacecraft. The Dragon is the first privately manufactured spaceship to send humans into orbit. On May 30, 2020, the Dragon successfully completed its first test flight, transporting astronauts Joe Hurley and Robert Behnken to the International Space Station. Since then, the Dragon has completed numerous successful space trips. Transporting both humans and cargo to the ISS, 
the dragon can deliver approximately 6,000 kilos of supplies to the International Space Station. The dragon has two variations, one optimized for crew and the other for flight. Because the cargo dragon does not have a life support system on board, it can carry more cargo. The dragon is launched on top of a spacecraft Falcon 9 reusable rocket, allowing NASA to keep expenses for resupplying the ISS low. Number 6. Virgin Galactic Spaceship 2 Spaceship 2 is an air-launched suborbital spacecraft that is currently being constructed by Virgin Galactic, a private space corporation founded by Richard Branson. In contrast to the designs of other spacecraft on the list that are launched from the ground, the Spaceship 2 has a very distinctive look. The actual launch of Spaceship 2 occurs in the atmosphere. Spaceship 2 is brought to its launch height by ferrying planes named White Knight 2. When the Spaceship 2 has reached its launch height, it is detached from the White Knight 2 and allowed to continue its journey to space. When the space trip has been completed, the White Knight 2 then fires its rockets and heads into space. As it descends toward the surface of the planet, Spaceship 2 lands on an airfield like any other regular airplane would. This time last year, Spaceship 2, also known as a VSS Unity 22, made history by the first privately sponsored spacecraft, bringing visitors into space. On board this historic voyage was founder of Virgin Galactic, Richard Branson. Number 7. Boeing Starliner The Boeing Starliner spacecraft program is similar to the SpaceX Dragon capsule in that both of these spacecraft were founded through NASA's commercial crew program, making the Starliner a direct competitor to the Dragon capsule. However, due to development setbacks, the Dragon capsule has won the majority of NASA contracts to ferry astronauts and cargo into space. The Starliner can carry a crew up to seven people and has launched mass of 30 tons. It can stay docked for seven months and be reused for up to 10 missions. The Starliner spacecraft is designed to be compatible with the Atlas V, Delta IV, Falcon 9, and Vulcan Central rockets. Currently, the future of the Starliner does not look promising because the purpose for it was built is not being fulfilled by SpaceX Dragon. But let's see if Boeing can change that. Number 8. Orion developed by Lockheed Martin In collaboration with Airbus, NASA's Artemis program revolves around the Orion spacecraft as its primary vehicle. It is a partially reusable spacecraft it takes a crew of six, and it has an endurance around 21 days without being docked any place, and up to six months when attached to the International Space Station. The Orion spacecraft is currently being constructed to send the next astronauts to the moon. The primary propulsion system for the Orion spacecraft is a rocket dyne AG-10 engine. Additionally, the spacecraft is equipped with eight R4D11 engines and six pods of unique reaction control systems manufactured by Airbus in order to give that spacecraft with secondary thrust capabilities. Despite the fact that the Orion spacecraft may be launched using a variety of different rockets, its primary purpose was to work in conjunction with a space launch system, SLS. Number 9. Terra Nevada's Dream Chaser When pressurized, the Dream Chaser by Sierra Nevada Corporation 
can carry a crew up to seven people and a payload of about 5,000 kilograms. When depressurized, the payload carrying capacity of spacecraft is increased by 500 kilograms. The Dream Tracer is being developed to resupply the International Space Station. The Dream Chaser can be launched vertically in Vulcan Central Rocket and then land on a Thunder runway back on Earth after its mission is complete. The Dream Chaser is currently in development, but once it's finished, it will be fascinating to see how it stacks up against SpaceX Dragon in terms of thermal protection against high thermal conditions experienced during re-entry. While these are the top spacecraft being built for exploration and tourism, there are many others that didn't make the cut. This is an amazing moment to be alive as we get to see the beginning of commercial space travel. Which was your favorite? Let us know in the comments and if you liked the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Till the next one.